Daily Trader TV, it's episode 30, it's the Monday the 26th of the 2nd, and the question today is what is a stop loss? Don't forget, I'm not qualified to give you individual advice, and be aware that spread betting, you can lose more than your initial stake. So what is spread betting? Well, if we go to uh, IG Index, it's a demo account, you can see a number of trades <coughs> off and running. If we just open up a trade ticket, you can see here that you've got closed conditions box in points. So you would put a stop, let's say 10 points away from the entry. So obviously 68.88 minus 10 gives you 58 spot 87. Now, if I just delete that, it tells you it needs to be a minimum of 2% away. So, you, so there is limits on where you can place your stop loss with a spread better. And then there's an option for a guaranteed stop, which you pay a premium for if it's triggered. So let's look up, let's look at a demo trade that's already up and running. So this is the uh, demo ticket for Jim Group G Y M. Uh, we've got the opening level at two ten spot two seven. And there's a stop level order at 199 spot now, spot 27, with a guaranteed stop. So what, what does that mean? So if we go to the uh, chart for Jim, we're saying that we entered at 210, spot 27, at £9 a point. Two ten spot two seven. So we're saying that we entered at two ten spot two seven. So somewhere around here. <coughs> um, we've also put a stop level in <coughs> at one ninety nine spot two seven. So 199 spot 27 is in this area. So we're saying we enter here, and if the price falls below 199 spot 27 then we're out of the trade and what will happen is as the price trades below with the spread better below this level the stop loss order will kick in and the position will be closed for a loss <coughs> now the difference between guaranteed stop and a normal stop is that sometimes stocks can gap. So let's say we're let's say we enter here, trade comes into here, and on this day it gaps down to here, 185. Then there are no trades between 199. Um, 185 so there's not an opportunity to for the for the stop loss to trade at that level so you'd be taken out it calls slippage you'd be taken out at, at that level so obviously you will lose more than you expected to lose what the guaranteed stop does is to take you out nearest damn it at that level so there's some things to think about. So we've talked through 
<coughs> what stop loss is and where we might use a guaranteed stop and most of my positions on a spread bet uh, I'll use the guaranteed stop um, I need to say a little bit more around that it's not quite as simple it's not quite it's not quite how I use guaranteed stops um, but that's the purpose so just looking at what's going on today uh, FLTA is having a bit of a pop Hostel world starting to move out, it's good news. DPU moving up, not a lot, not a lot else going on. If we look at the portfolio, we can see that we're now 3.9% off all-time portfolio highs. Uh, the on the live account, it's about four and a half percent return. We've banked 2.95%. Uh, we've got a cash position of 56.4%. Uh, so, yeah, everything's looking fine. We're going to cut it there for today.